Okay, so I did a collective reading, uh, all signs reading, and this is the collective part, and this is an oracle reading. Okay, I just didn't have room. And, um, okay, so, all right, so this showed up first, and this is a moon, darkness. Okay, so we're in Aries moon, and the key with that is move steady, all right, and then move your emotions. You might feel like you want to rush, but just take your your time, okay, and sure up that energy. It's like sure up your energy and then do, okay, and then rain. Okay, so let's look into that. It says fecundity, rain. Oh, there's the, hold on. Okay, so let me read the moon part first. There are cycles to everything and a season for everything. Do not push yourself, yeah, when the tides are against you. Okay, so I would say the tides aren't against you. It's just like go with the flow, okay, and don't rush, okay? Just go steady, steady flow. Do not be afraid of the darkness as the darkness is necessary as the light. Rest and repair, and I feel like this was a theme for Scorpio. Okay, rest and repair. The divine feminine in all her forms is rising. The time for introversion, stability, and planning is here. Okay, and maybe some Sagittarians. Okay, all right. So, all right. So, and but this is a collective reading. Okay, so. Okay, so Lysa, L-Y-S-A, is an ancient Norse name, and it means illuminate in darkness. Oh, okay. All right, so then let's move to the rain. Okay. Okay, so I thought of that that song, Lady Gaga song, Rain On Me. <laughs> okay, so it's like embracing what comes, right? And loving it, whatever it is. Okay, and just moving with it. And if you don't love it, be in a neutral space and move it. Okay, you have that power. Okay, I wish they had numbers on there. They don't have numbers, so I have to kind of... Just kind of move through here. Hold on a second. Do they have the numbers on? Oh, they're at the top. Okay, 35. I couldn't see that. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, the conditions of greater prosperity are being met. Okay, and that's what I saw in a lot of the readings. It was there. It was here. Okay, know that all will be well. Cleanse yourself of old, outdated views. You have everything you need to grow and let yourself be cleansed. Word of power is fecund fec fecundadio. Latin. So it might be dacio, fucundacio. Okay, Latin word for fruitfulness. Okay, so yeah, the fruits of your labor, I felt them. They're here. Okay, so it's like just uh, bringing the light to the mind here, like in this card. Illuminate the mind with positivity, and then it will show up. Okay, so then here's the next card, gravity, 39. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a close look. Okay, I feel like the planets are here, right? Saturn and Jupiter. This is groundedness. Yes, that's the thing with this Aries moon. You want to take steady steps. Steady, steady, steady. Okay. Seek a grounded perspective. Okay. So, um, gravity is a natural force that causes all things with mass and energy to be attracted to each other. This includes planets, galaxies, light, and yes, even apples. 
The famous story about Isaac Newton and the apple actually did happen, but not in the way that most people think. While there is no evidence of young Isaac being bumped on the head by a falling apple, he was sitting in an orchard and observed an apple falling from a tree. He noticed every apple fell the same way, straight down, not sideways, or something else uh, impeded, and he wondered why. This inspired him to formulate the law of universal gravitation. Okay, well, some people don't believe in gravity. <laughs> I just want to put that in there. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> all right, okay. Which states that every body in the universe is attracted to every other body with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. <laughs> okay, raise your hand if you got that. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's a lot of words. Okay. His famous apple tree continues to grow at Woolsthorpe uh, Manor. Okay, so, all right. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the element is earth here. Let's just get to get to the punchline here. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, pinnacles were showing up where they were showing a need to go steady and with stability and groundedness and bringing it, you know, to this physical reality with steady movements, uh, flow. Okay, so that was coming up. Okay, and then now here's water, right? Flow. Okay, bringing it into this physical reality and flowing. Okay, so that's a creation, 29. All right, flow forward with grace and confidence. Be true to your emotions. Do not allow yourself to become stagnant in your ways. Creation is your birthright. Consider what is vital to your happiness and ensure that you seek it. Okay, power word. Creato. He shall create. All right, time. Discipline. Okay. Okay, so we can find new ways to be more disciplined to bring into our creation, right? Okay, so the key power word here is dis disciplinatus, Latin for disciplined. Find out the causes of your procrastination or resistance. Who had that? I think Sagittarius had that little bit. Okay, and perhaps Scorpio too, a little bit there. All right, so someone is wasting your someone is wasting your time. Be aware of this. You have finite time on this planet, so use it well. Okay, so yeah. So if it's like you feel like uh, a love interest is wasting your time, then move on. You know, go with your heart, your gut. What is your gut telling you? If you feel like uh, this business adventure is not suiting you, then find something else. Physics says time is what a clock reads. Simple. Time, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, that's why I don't read these books. I don't agree with a lot of stuff that they put in these books. Okay, all right, so let's move on. All right, but the sun is here. Let's read that. All right. All right, so be grateful for what you have right now. Every day brings new possibilities and opportunities. Concentrate on building your vitality and health. Shine a strong light upon the dark corners. Honesty and transparency are vital at this time. Yeah, I feel like that's a theme here. Honesty and transparency. Okay, and then like setting your boundaries early so you don't have to use that fire energy in a way that's like aggressive, okay? All right, so it is not an exaggeration to say that without the sun, most of life would perish. This fiery star at the center of our solar system is also central to our survival. We orbit around the sun, and it is by far the most definitive and important source of elemental energy for our planet. Being deeply aware 
of and connecting to seasonal energies such as introversion of winter or the explosion of attraction energy in the spring can help us find greater flow and ease in everything from creation of projects to the conception of a baby. Yeah, I felt baby energy and a couple of things. Okay, and I leave you with that collective. Thank you.